हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल हेलो आई एम स्किन केयर लवर आई विल डू अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट रिलेटेड टू स्किन केयर इफ यू आर इन टू दिस जोन दैन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक ऑन द नोटिफिकेशन बेल एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू से अबाउट स्किन वाइटनिंग आई एक्चुअली डोंट लाइक द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्किन वाइटनिंग बट स्टिल आई एम सेंग दिस बिकॉज this is the most requested video by many people many people have been asking me didi please uh, say about skin whitening how to turn black skin into white skin so for all of you i have done this video in this i have said a lot about all the ingredients so watch the video till the end to know about everything uh, related to skin care or skin whitening so skin whitening is actually possible there are a lot of different ingredients and oral medications and a lot more of complicated surgeries and i want to say you an important information regarding skin whitening if you have relatively fair shade naturally and you want to get your original color uh, that means uh, there are some people whose body color differs from their face and neck and their exposed parts body color so those people for those people their original color is usually lighter than their exposed parts so uh, those people can use the skin whitening products until your natural color is obtained and then you have to protect that color whatever you have acquired by using skin whitening products you have to protect that color by using a good sunscreen and following a good sun uh, skin care routine but if you are someone who want to change your natural color you have to use skin whitening products even after you achieve your targeted skin color because your skin will produce more melanin back once you stop using skin whitening ingredients it may be dangerous sometimes but there are good whiten uh, good skin whitening products without any uh, side effects which i will say in this video and you have to protect your skin always you are more prone to tanning and skin sensitivity as you are removing your melanin so always use good sunscreen and good skin care routine with soothing moisturizing and nourishing ingredients before starting skin lightening analyze yourself first there are a lot of people whose natural color is fair but they might have a lot of tan accumulated over their body and they might be thinking that i'm becoming dark in color so if you are someone into that category then try to remove your tan and use a sunscreen daily you will regain your natural color and there are another category of people like me whose skin turns very very dull after going to a certain place or being exposed to pollution for me it happens when i go and stay near beach area you know i just become a shade or two shades darker than my own natural complexion till graduation you know i used to have no problem because i used to go to beach only for vacation but now my university is very near from the beach at first i suffered a lot with dull and darker skin my skin used to get dark so badly then i used to worry so much and then i found a magical ingredient to combat this dullness and that's antioxidant yeah antioxidants are naturally produced in our body to combat the effect of free radicals and neutralize them due to excessive pollution or if you are not in a suitable condition then you get dull and darker skin i found out that antioxidants help you solve all the problems related to such dullness issues there are a lot of antioxidants like vitamin c vitamin a vitamin e green tea carotenoids and so many more not only tropical application like you uh shouldn't only apply uh, in the form of creams or serums or toners but you have to take them through the food you eat there are so many fresh fruits and vegetables which provide you with a lot of antioxidant benefits so if you are someone of my category then do try some antioxidants in your food and in your skincare 
and the other category of people are those with dark or dusky skin tone i want to say something to everyone everyone is unique everyone is beautiful in their own way every skin color is beautiful i want to say you one more thing don't discriminate anyone based on color or race or any other such factors when you discriminate what you say that might be just a word but you don't know how you are affecting one's inner peace and their happiness still i will help you how to whiten your skin i will try to cover all the methods by which you can treat your skin and make it fair enough we can make our skin a shade or two shades lighter by safe methods we can make black skin to white skin with a lot of side effects which may also cause cancer and with a big hole in your pocket i will say about every method possible most successful skin lightening procedure is done by laser treatments it costs lakhs and lakhs of rupees and there will be increased sensitivity and our melanin will return to its normal state after few months so you have to maintain your skin and have to undergo multiple treatments if you are middle class or poor then these kinds of treatments are out of reach for us and coming to the next process it is by injecting glutathione i want to say a little about glutathione it is a potential skin lightening agent with negligible side effects remember this point it has no side effects our body produces enough glutathione to combat oxidative stress it is a powerful antioxidant so but as we age you know glutathione production reduces in our body so we need to take through other means it can be found in a lot of fruits and vegetables and we can also be taking uh, glutathione supplements in the form of tablets or so but the drawback with this is if you apply glutathione topically the bioavailability is low that means if you apply glutathione on your skin directly your skin won't absorb it it is a very bigger molecule that means if you apply glutathione on your skin that won't work your skin will not be able to absorb that and if you ingest it or take it orally then bioavailability increases than topical application but it will take some months to show the result there are also treatments related to glutathione which are done by a dermatologist in which they inject glutathione into your skin directly this needs to be done in some sessions and you will see visible results but it also costs too much which many people cannot afford if you ask me which way is affordable i will definitely suggest you take glutathione orally it might take a long time but it is cost effective and you shouldn't use more than recommended quantity per day and i will give you all the products of glutathione at the end of this video and the next ingredient which i want to talk about is hydroquinone it has been the magical ingredient for skin whitening maybe you also have heard it somewhere or on some cream some whitening creams and but it has a lot of side effects some countries even banned this ingredient because of its side effects it actually sensitizes the skin it is safe at a concentration less than 2 percentage even at this percentage you shouldn't be using it regularly it removes your melanin in the skin and your skin becomes prone to all kinds of damage yes you will definitely be white but if you use it for more than prescribed time you will end up destroying your skin and i want to remember you one thing let whatever potential skin whitening ingredient you use once you stop using it your skin will naturally produce your melanin back because that is controlled by your genetic material your dna the characters which you acquired from your parents or your grandparents every cell in your body contains dna you can't change that so if you want permanent skin whitening then you have to use them regularly and maintain them properly when it comes to hydroquinone you can't use it for the lifetime it will end your skin with some irreversible damage 
or may even lead to cancer. So I won't recommend any product with hydroquinone. Many products are available online without doctor's prescription, but I won't suggest you use those. But if you are someone <clears throat> who needs whitening at any cost and who can afford acquiring skin cancer or any other skin related issues, then you may choose. I'm no one to stop you. I'm just saying you what's bad and what's good. And you are the one to select which is best for you. And coming to the next ingredient, it is kojic acid. This is the one of the great skin whitening agents. <clears throat> it has less side effects when compared to hydroquinone. Some people may get sensitizing reactions with kojic acid because any skin whitening agent or any bleach removes your melanin which is a natural protector for you. You are trying to remove it so your skin may become sensitive and prone to different disorders. But you can always protect your skin. You can always, all the time you can protect your skin by using good nourishing moisturizer and sunscreen. And coming to the kojic acid, it can be used for some months if it suits you. But even this cannot be used for a lifetime. But this is the best skin lightening agent. You can see results in less time. And coming to the next ingredient, it's retinoid or retinal or retinaldehyde or tretinoin, all the vitamin A derivatives. This is like a magical ingredient. Yeah, really, it's a magical ingredient in my opinion. It is a multitasker actually. It reduces the melanin, that means it reduces your skin darkness, that means it whitens your skin, it treats the pimples, it is anti-acne ingredient. And another great, great, great benefit is it is anti-aging. Who don't want to look young? I want to look young even after I attain something like 40 and above. What I need is best for my skin. And this vitamin A does this work. I really, really love this ingredient. It is a main ingredient in anti-aging and skin whitening. Retinoid along with hydroquinone is a great combination to achieve heights in skin whitening. You may start using this product after doing patch test. Start by using it twice a week then increase it to alternate days. After 2-3 to three months you may increase it to daily routine. It should be applied only at night. And whatever ingredient I have talked about till now, everything should be applied at night time. And you have to protect it in the morning time. I will say all the products related to kojic acid and retinoids at the end of this video. And coming to the next ingredient, it is arbutin. Most effective is alpha arbutin when compared to beta arbutin. There are actually two types of arbutins, alpha arbutin and beta arbutin. Here the stereochemistry matters a lot. Alpha arbutin is uh, said to be five times more effective than beta arbutin according to researchers. And arbutin will competitively inhibit the tyrosinase enzyme. Uh, so tyrosinase enzyme actually produces the melanin, the dark pigment in our skin. It acts by uh, stopping the tyrosinase. It just fights with it and will uh, never make uh, the melanin. Okay, so it also in inhibits the maturation of melanosomes. It is the one I love. It even reduces the hyperpigmentation. Some people will have dark areas around mouth and near cheeks. This ingredient will work very, very well on these. This is like a superstar ingredient. It won't whiten your skin like magic. It takes time, but it is worth it. The best part is it has no side effects at all. The next ingredient which I'm going to talk about is vitamin C. It is also a multitasker like vitamin A. It reduces acne, it has anti-aging properties, it is a great, great antioxidant. It whitens your skin and it will interfere with tyrosinase activity and inhibits the melanin production. It is a very, very, very safe ingredient. It can be used daily. In the morning, you must apply sunscreen. 
to protect your skin it takes time yeah it really takes time to show the result but it will show the result about my favorite vitamin c products i will mention them at the end of this video coming to the next ingredient it is azelaic acid it also inhibits the tyrosinase enzyme and thereby makes your skin lighter it is also a safe ingredient it also reduces acne and it can be used as a spot treatment uh, for treating acne and the darkness or the dark patches cause due to acne or eczema or any other skin related diseases or post inflammatory hyperpigmentations it is the safest option and never forget sunscreen in the morning time so coming to the next ingredient for the skin whitening it is niacinamide niacinamide inhibits melanin by stopping them from coming uh, to outer layers of your skin so your skin will produce melanin but what this niacinamide does is it won't allow it to come outside and show up so thereby your skin appears white in color and thereby it reduces the melanin it is the safest ingredient but it is not uh especially for whitening it doesn't do whitening by its own it just inhibits the maturation of melanosome that's why uh, it indirectly inhibit uh, it indirectly possess the whitening properties but it will make your skin brighter on a prolonged usage niacinamide actually helps control excess sebum production thereby reduces the open pores white heads black heads and it also improves your skin complexion it can be applied every day every night without any side effects but always start with less concentration of niacinamide then increase the concentration and i want to say you some important thing always always conduct a patch test before you actually use a certain product because there will be people who are allergic to a certain ingredient so always conduct a patch test and see for reactions and if no reaction occurs then you can use it and if there is some reaction then it is not for you don't use that product again on your face and apart from these there are also some natural ingredients which may act as skin whitening agents the most commonly used natural ingredients for skin whitening are uh there are some like a licorice extract or licorice root extract and mulberry extract and green tea extract aloe vera juice soy and papaya extract and saffron extracts all such ingredients are said to possess skin lightening properties you may try any of these if you want in depth information about any product or ingredient please feel free to comment it down below now i will give you my favorite list of products which has skin brightening ingredients in this i will try to give beginner friendly products and i want to say you one thing um never you can never become white in color in just one night there is no such magic in a small bottle okay so don't expect magic in a bottle which you will apply it at night time and become white in the morning skin care takes time patient and patience and consistency is the key here here i will say you about some products which are good skin whiteners you can use any one of these and the first one is biobricks high cozy skin lightening cream with hydroquinone cojic acid and glycolic acid it has both hydroquinone and cojic acid which are skin lightening ingredients and there is glycolic acid which is an aha that is alpha hydroxy acid and it is a chemical exfoliant by uh, but i suggest you not to use products with hydroquinone even if you use you have to use it only during night time and have to apply a good sunscreen and spf 30 and pa triple plus and don't use it for more time like don't use it for more than 2 months yeah that would be my time and coming to the next um i want to say about glutathione yeah i want to say about the glutathione tablets 
the first one uh, which i prefer is the body temple l glutathione for healthy and radiant skin for men and women with vitamin c biotin these are the glutathione capsules to be taken orally these contain 60 capsules at an affordable price these can uh, can be consumed every day one tablet per day at night time and the bottle will last you for 2 months coming to the next uh, recommended product is trizen glutathione for skin glow with biotin vitamin c vitamin e grape seed extract and amino acids this is another uh, from the brand trizen with extra benefits of biotin vitamin c vitamin e which will boost the process of skin whitening these are only 30 capsules and one bottle will last you for one month and don't take more than one tablet per day to protect your skin always use sunscreen with spf 30 and pa triple plus or more and next one is skin love perfect white skin lightening steroid free cream with kojic acid arbutin vitamin c and aha this one is from skin love with kojic acid arbutin vitamin c and glycolic acid kojic acid arbutin and vitamin c are great skin whitening agents and it also contains glycolic acid and aha or an alpha hydroxy acid which is a chemical exfoliant it removes the dead skin cells and makes your skin glow this is used by my friend and it worked really well on him so i'm suggesting you this product and next one is the dermaco 2% kojic acid face cream for pigmentation removal this contains 2% kojic acid which is great for skin whitening and removing the pigmentation use this in the night time and apply a good moisturizer and sleep well for more than 7 hours you can see results in as fast as a week or to a month it depends on your skin uh, and before using any product always conduct a patch test to see whether the product is suitable for you or not uh, this cream you have to apply it uh, during the night time and you have to always use the sunscreen in the morning time coming to the next ingredient it is minimalist 0.3% retinol face serum for anti aging or night face serum with retinol and cutin this is a beginner friendly retinol and there is a great antioxidant cutin both of them uh, work amazing for skin whitening this is also to be applied at night and you should always wear sunscreen and vitamin a is anti aging so great ingredient this was and started by using it for once a week then increase to twice a week and then to alternate days and then you may use it daily for any vitamin a product you have to follow this procedure you shouldn't be writing it daily in the night time no your skin needs to uh, like adapt to it so you have to uh, use it you have to give it slowly to your skin not as quick as possible so coming to the next retinol um, recommendation it is from deconstruct 0.2% retinol plus 1% peptide serum it is a night face serum for anti aging to reduce fine lines and wrinkles it is also a beginner friend uh, beginner friendly and anti aging it has got peptides which are also anti aging and provides lots of hydration to the skin and always use sunscreen in the morning uh this one also you have to apply it at night and next it is dermaco 0.3% retinol face serum for younger looking skin and spotless skin this is also beginner friendly as the other two and it should be used at night time sunscreen is a must and the dermaco 10% vitamin c face serum with vitamin c 5% niacinamide and hyaluronic acid for skin radiance This serum has got vitamin C and niacinamide which are great for brightening of skin. It has hyaluronic acid which is a water magnet. It provides a lot of hydration. Vitamin C and vitamin B3 combines well and works together amazingly. Both are water soluble vitamins. This can be applied even in the morning, but it's always advisable to wear it in the night time. and always apply sunscreen in the morning 
whatever skin whitening ingredient you are making to your skin all that will be kept in place by the sunscreen so sunscreen is must you use these whitening treatments or not you have to use sunscreen it is just like an insurance to your skin so never forget sunscreen and reapply it for every 2 to 3 hours and next recommendation of vitamin c is from minimalist 10% vitamin c face serum for glowing skin it is a highly stable and effective skin brightening whitening a vitamin c serum my love for vitamin c started with this product i actually bought it for my mom i used to use it once a, every week because i was starting anti aging routine i will start i will um, use it once a week not more than that my mom uses it daily at night time she is medium skin tone with oily and acne prone skin after one and a half month after you say she is not getting acne now her skin become almost two shades lighter i didn't believe that this simple serum can do such great job so i am really shocked with this so i will recommend you use vitamin c if you want healthy bright and skin and my next recommendation from vitamin c is uh, from the deconstruct vitamin c serum for glowing skin it is with 10% vitamin c and 0.5% ferulic acid and this is a face serum for pigmentation this is another germ you know vitamin c and ferulic acid work very 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 well for skin brightening this is my another recent love and coming to the next product it is from the dermaco 10% azelaic acid face serum for uneven skin tone and dark spots this is azelaic acid 10% serum this concentration is great to reduce hyperpigmentation and make your skin glow this is supposed to be applied in night time and never forget sunscreen for people with acne prone skin this is the best and next recommendation is deconstruct breakout control serum 3.3 percentage potassium azoloil diglycinate face serum this may uh, feel a little bit weird because it is saying breakout control serum but i want to say you something it contains azelaic acid um, combined with uh, glycerin you know this works very well even at a very low concentration i used this serum for spot treatment i used um and i used it when my skin behaves a little bit weird sometimes my skin just shows up little tiny bumps at certain regions all of a sudden uh, maybe it uh, if i get exposed to a lot of pollution or if i exposed to a lot of uh, sunlight for a very long time then after going home i will clean my face do all the routine and then ap apply this serum on the affected area or sometimes on the whole face by the next morning my face will become normal again it is also anti inflammatory when used daily it is a great skin whitening product its concentration may be low but it is highly effective and never forget sunscreen in the morning and next rec uh, recommendation is deconstruct clearing serum 2% alpha arbutin plus 5% niacinamide anti pigmentation and tanning serum this is really good serum for reducing pigmentation it contains good amounts of arbutin along with niacinamide and this is supposed to be applied at night time and always have to use the a uh, sunscreen in the morning and don't forget to reapply your sunscreen for every 2 to 3 hours and next recommendation is minimalist 2% alpha arbutin serum for pigmentation and dark spots removal it is an anti pigmentation face serum this serum worked very well on my skin it has 2% alpha arbutin along with 1% hyaluronic acid i used it uh, to have a um, I used to have a little pigmentation around my mouth area and on my forehead it really worked well in removing the hyperpigmentation and it is even reduced my dark spots caused due to pimples this works best for hyperpigmentation and always apply sunscreen in the morning this serum needs to be applied in the night time and don't forget to apply your sunscreen or reapply your sunscreen for every 2 to 3 hours coming to the next product it is minimalist 5% percent 
niacinamide fake serum for clear glowing skin and see one thing whatever i am saying this is uh, for both men and women there are no products separate for men and women okay um okay let's come to the minimalist 5% niacinamide serum this is a low concentration niacinamide serum which is very good for beginners it can be applied even in the morning and never forget sunscreen so next ingredient is the dermaco 2% alpha arbutin face serum for dark spots and uneven skin tone this is also a good serum with 2% alpha arbutin and this needs to be applied in the night time and you have to use sunscreen in the morning time next recommendation recommended product is chemist at play acne control face serum with ceramides you may feel a little bit weird because it is saying acne control face serum but it has 10% azelaic acid and 10% niacinamide which are great skin whitening ingredients so this is not for beginners yeah i'm saying it surely this is not for beginners it has high concentration of niacinamide azelaic acid is okay but niacinamide has been uh, has been it uh, very high concentration which the beginners may not be able to absorb it so if you are someone who already use niacinamide and can bear up to 10% of concentration then you may use it otherwise it's a no the problem is your skin can't take that much high concentration at once if you are a beginner so use it if your skin can tolerate such high thing or such high concentrations even this is to be applied at night time and always apply sunscreen in the morning the next recommended product is chemist at play beginners brightening face serum with ceramides it has got 10% vitamin c and 0.5% hyaluronic acid This is a good vitamin C serum for beginners. The additional benefit with Chemist at Play is that they contain ceramides which improve your skin and don't forget to apply the sunscreen in the morning. And next recommended product is Chemist at Play pore minimizing face serum with ceramides. This is also niacinamide serum with high concentration and this is not beginner friendly. It has additional anti-acne properties due to zinc PCA. but if you are a beginner then it's not for you these all products i have selected based on budget and beginner friendliness if you want to know more about any ingredient or about any product or you want to know about more products or you want to see any video please please comment it down below i will definitely do a video on it your support is all i need i'm saying everything based on research materials it is scientifically proven works whatever i speak in my videos it's always with a proof i will never say any misinformation with you i won't say any magical treatments like if you apply this cream and you will become white the next morning no that's impossible if that's possible then everyone in this world will be with a porcelain faces by now they will be fair like walls you know but there is nothing like that there is no magic there won't be any magics in any of my videos if you want instant whitening do some makeup please go do some makeup there is no other way skin care takes time and patience to so show the results so i will never say any misinformation with you so please feel free to comment it down any doubt you have please comment it i will definitely do the best for you so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching all this video till the end i will be making more such videos on your demand thank you so much see you very soon in another video bye bye take care